Hello everyone, welcome to Pandey Guruji YouTube channel. In this video, I will discuss about the very important uh, SQL interview question. So, if you really preparing for the SQL interview question related to the any of the profile that is the data analytics or the data scientist or the reporting analyst or the uh, business analyst uh, where the SQL is more useful. So this uh, tutorial or the, this uh, playlist very helpful to you crack any type of the interview question. Okay, so basically in this playlist I am uploading all the question uh, which is the totally based on the real time scenario base and uh, also the most uh, frequently asked question into the uh, interview. So student is also sharing the question uh, if they attending the any company interview. So I uploaded total 26 video. So most of the video are the related to the company interview question and but uh, also some of the video related to the uh, frequently asked the real time scenario based question. Other than this playlist, uh, if you want to practice any type of the interview question, uh, you can uh, uh, access uh, by using the video link uh, description box. I will provide the uh, link so you can access all the uh, courses which is available on my portal studyiteducation.com so this you have the practice and download SQL interview question uh, we, we have the one to one training as well uh, we also have the uh, download training material training video uh, interview question all notes in the complete in the detailed explanation so you can purchase only 700 okay so you also have the only one to notes only you can purchase in 249 if you want to only the sql interview question the pdf uh, you can go with the 349 but if you want to practice in the set you can go with the uh, 499 if you have any question if you have any doubt you can uh, directly contact me via the contact us you so this is the uh, mail id this is the contact number provided so you can watch up and uh, definitely will be help you out so uh, let's discuss with the some uh, few uh, some uh, interview question related to the uh, practically okay so let's jump to the sql server uh, management studio and uh, i have first uh, i have first question is this question many time in the interview uh, they ask this type of the question so uh, basically uh, this question is related to some type of the uh, join condition so the question is the uh, find the list of the employee who working in the evening shift. So basically uh, when we work in the evening shift if we have the employee information we need to be required uh, because uh, data warehouse uh, or the adventure work database uh, they provided the lots of company this is the free database and most of the time the database will be used for the uh, interview point of view. So if you access this uh, database, we have the employee table and uh, we have the employee department history table. So uh, to solve this question, you need to be understand that uh, uh, how you can solve this question. So basically, uh, because the for the shift timing, we have the different table, department table, we have the different table, employee information, we have the different table. So we use here the uh, four table, one is the employee table. Uh, second one is the employee department history table third one is the department table and uh, fourth one is the ship table okay so if you do any type of the uh, uh, error on the joining so the data will be not populate correctly here yeah? so i use the human resources hr dot uh, uh, employee table and uh, hr dot employee detail table will join with the business entity id so if you if you look up to this employee uh employee table you can find the we have the business and uh, business entity id is common on the board table employee table and employee detail table so uh, as a you developer you need to be figured out that uh, which column is the common column okay so uh, what you you can do uh, just you can access all the table in the separate window okay so uh, basically let me uh, let me uh, pick up all this table in the separate window like uh, we have the employee uh, employee table now you can search here the employee history table okay so uh, you can search the employee history table so you can see the uh, we can put the top uh, uh, clause here top five 
in both the code so you can find the what is the which table have the uh, basically the common record on the both table so if you place in single window uh, top five record so uh, now you can see in this table also have the business entity id and this table also have the business entity id so by this uh, you can match this column and you can put in the join condition so this is the alias name so if you don't if you don't have the understanding of the join uh, you can watch the complete video of the join here okay so you will get uh, idea now we have the business entity id as join now department table we have the department id and uh, so uh, here also we have the department id in the uh, employee de department history table so if you see the name related to department definitely they have the department id now the shift table is coming so if you if you pick up the shift table data here what code what uh, so what value will be available in the shift table so just same thing like you can put the uh, select star from uh, from the whatever the we have this uh, shift table like uh, human resources the shift table so you need to be figured out what is the common record in the shift table so again you can uh, copy the top clause and you can put this top two here okay so you will get idea what uh, the common record is available in the shift table so if you scroll down from the right corner uh, you can we have the shift tabbing uh, shift id names start uh, uh, timing in timing modify timing so you can see the shift id is available in the business uh, employee department history table and the, also we have the shift id so in this table uh, you can use the s dot shift id dot dh dot shift id department table don't have the any shift timing shift id that is the reason we join with the department history table okay and now the question is asking that uh, uh, evening shift so basically just you can put the s dot s is nothing but the shift alias name is equal to evening so uh, you will get the all the employee who working in the evening shift so if anyone asks you the morning shift so now you can see if you remove from the top two clause from this shift table you have different different shift timing okay so now you can see day shift evening shift night shift is there so you can just uh, change the value if they ask for the day shift now we have the second question that uh, write a query to display the text sql server so this is the very common question uh, I see lots of the interviewer. Uh, so many in the interview, uh, they put this type of the question like write a query to display a text SQL Server as transport text. Okay, so transport is the nothing but uh, you need to be display a SQL Server like this type of the value. So basically, uh, to display this type of the value, you have the some understanding of the uh, basically the uh, looping condition. Okay, so uh, you can declare the variable one variable here and uh, you can find the n where k uh, 100 and uh, and uh, we have the sql server so basically uh, we, you need to be put the some type of the uh, text here whatever the text they provided so if you if you don't have the text like the, they want to from the data from the table uh, you can directly uh, take the data from the table okay so might be interview uh, they ask you some data from the table or they will put some type of the text so they, the data will be stored in the a here now uh, i am declaring another variable length okay so length is the basically uh, integer data type and i again declare i i basically this is the initial position so how much uh, uh, how much you need to be print some type of the uh, like the uh, looping okay so like if you change the text like sql server microsoft sql server like ms sql server so now the length will be take uh, i is equal to one and the length will be whatever the length will be there like three to five to seven to nine okay so now if you change the ms sql server to 11 so do not hard code the value to the looping so whatever the text will be there this will be loop here so now you can see uh, the length uh, basically uh, we have the uh, 11 so now i need to be loop 1 to 11 so whenever i is equal to length is less than is equal to length okay so 1 is less than is equal to 11 
uh, I'm just uh, beginning with the uh, while loop and printing substring. So I already discussed the substring is basically used to trim the value and uh, we need to be trim the value from this position and uh, I is the starting position. Now we have the starting position in one. So they will trim one and the ending position will be one because we need to be trim one at a time uh, one later and also we same time we printing as well. Now for the looping I is equal to I plus one. So it will be loop a uh, next uh, uh, value. Okay. So if you if you not put this value the loop will be go infinite okay so loop will be go infinite so that is the reason we need to be always place the i is equal to i plus one okay so now the i value will be two so again will be come here the two less than is equal to uh, 11 okay so two less than is equal to 11 11 is the length of this value now it will be same now the i value will be two they will trim the s now uh, again the i value will be 3 now when the come the 11 plus 1 is equal to 12 so 12 less than is equal to 11 so this statement got false and the loop will be stop executing here okay so now you can see you can see ms sql server whatever uh, we have this is the printed now if you print the something the uh, uh, like print the uh, pande guruji okay so if you keep changing the value okay it will be prints all the value like this so just you can keep the understanding of the value how you can uh, uh, printing all this value so if you learn the concept here it is very useful to crack this type of the uh, interview question so try to focus on the under understanding of the concept uh, because the mistake is doing the student is not understanding the concept how we can implement it and within the time time frame you need to be in implement all this uh, concept so if you have any question if you have any doubt uh, you can directly reach out to me on the uh, the, uh, the social media and uh, if you not like or subscribe my channel you can just like and subscribe so thank you so much for the watching this video in the next video i will discuss couple of more how you can display 1 to 100 using the city in using the cursor all this question i will discuss in the next video so thank you so much